Hello everybody, Hal here, Quail Studios Guitar. Today I'm going to teach you Always On My Mind. So let's just get right to it. Let's do the chords. Maybe I, D chord, didn't love you. And what I like to do here is I like to go to an A sus4, back to A, B minor, quite as often. B minor with an A bass, as I could have. G, and then an A chord. I like to do it with one finger like that. Maybe I, same thing, didn't treat you. A, A sus4 to A, B minor, quite as good. B minor with an A bass, as I should have. Now this is an E or an E7. I like the E, but I think you could do a B minor, B minor with an A bass, E with a G sharp bass, but I think what I would do is go ahead and play E, but if you've got a bass player, you could play G sharp going to a the next chord, with is, which is a G. If I made you feel D with an F sharp bass, second best. I like to play the D like that and put my finger right here, my first finger on the second fret, E string. That's your F sharp. Back to G. Girl, I'm sorry. D with an F sharp bass again. I was blind. And that's an E minor chord. And then you could do an E with a D bass if you want to. You don't have to play. Everything is open. D string, G, B, E string to an A. And this is the chorus. You are always on my mind. So you play an A chord, A with a B bass. A with a C-sharp bass to a D. G chord. You were always A chord on my mind. Now what I like to do from the verse going into the chorus, let's back up. If I made you feel second best D with an F sharp bass going to G. Girl, I'm sorry I was blind. Now I like to play. I like to do that. So I like to play this note. The E note, second fret, D string, open D, B note on the second fret A string, and then going to the A chord. You were always on my Sometimes I do this, D, and then I play open E, F sharp note, G chord. You were always on A, going to a D, my mind. Right there, what I'm doing is I'm doing a hammer on. I'm just plucking it. Something like that. Maybe I didn't hold you all those lonely, lonely times. I guess I never told you a chord. I'm so happy that you're mine. Right there, what I did was E. E, F sharp, second fret, G. Little things I should have said and done. G, I just never took the time. You were always on my mind. You 
were always on my mind. And then we have a D chord. Ten. D with a C sharp bass. Me, B minor, B minor with an A bass. G, tell me that your sweet love. D with an F sharp bass hasn't died. E minor, A. Does it again. D chord. Give. D with a C sharp bass. Me, B minor. B minor with an A bass. Give me one more chance. G, to keep you. D with an F sharp bass. Satisfied. A, keep you satisfied. So this is a verse. This is the rhythm part to where there could be a lead. Let's give you the timing on this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, E seven. Little things I should have. D with an F sharp bass, said and done. I just never took the time. You were always on. You were always on my mind. B minor. That's called a deceptive cadence. Instead of going to a D, we went from the A to the B minor. And then we go back to A. You were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. And then I just do a D chord up here. I'll show you the finger picking on that. So I'm just plucking thumb, index, middle ring, back to index, and this is a D chord. You could do that right there. One and two and three and four and A chord. On that A chord, I'm just playing the A string, D string, G and B strings, back to D string, and then the A sus4 to A, B minor, B minor with an A bass, G chord. So it's one, two, three, Four. Back to D. That was a D sus four right there. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Right there, I just went. I played the open E string, second fret to G. If I made you feel second best. G chord. E minor. I just let that E minor ring. While I'm playing those notes and then the A chord. So what I'm playing is the A chord. One and two and and then the B bass. I'm plucking the A string, the G string, the B string to the D string, and then the C sharp, and then to the D chord. G chord to the A chord to the D chord. You 
You could do the D chord with sus4, or you could do D add 9, back to D, something like that. That would work. Well, thanks for coming along. Thanks for being here. Subscribe to the channel if you like what I do and give me a thumbs up so I can share it with other people. Also, you can get my book, Quest Studios Lead Sheets. Look in the description. It's got a hundred, over 100 songs in it. And there's a couple of other books you can get too. My theory book and my gig book that I did just recently. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.